two not so tiny Tintin's vlog. Ayan. There, how's everyone and all? And uh, what do we have for today? Actually, I have promised you to have a vlog on, you know, a regimen that I would be starting after I took or after I tried the celery juice. Actually, I think I have been doing it for more than a week now. And why I have chosen this is because more than the want to lose weight, uh, as I have mentioned in my previous vlogs, that medyo dahil sa 41 na nga tayo, need or there is a need for my health to also be improved. And since I am up for a work up very soon, which actually dinelay ko siya, uh, I wanted to hopefully see negative results kung lab test. So, basically, weight loss and also to work on health issues na medyo ayan na sila. Parating na dahil sa ating kaedad. Kaya nga, at this point, ang masasuggest ko sa mga kabataan, there is no such effing thing as YOLO. But there is yo whole. What does that mean? You only have one life, man. Ayun, yun lang. So, let's go and start it. Mga nauuso ngayon, syempre, at the end of the day, especially if you are a female, masyado tayong conscious sa ating mga body weight. And if you would notice, kasi the reason I have opted to, um, I was thinking kasi to have the this vlog about the lost weight, supposedly parang next week pa. Parang gagawin ko yung two weeks regimen ko yung ikokombine ko. But I thought of, since medyo marami naman nakakapansin, at napapansin nyo rin ba, ayan, uh, ang ating pagbawas ng timbang, would want to share it uh, to you what seemed to be effective after the the celery juice uh, as i have mentioned i will again incorporate it next week that celery juice pero ano ba yung talagang ginagawa ko ngayon we have been um, seeing a lot of fad diets i too have gone through several types of diets and several types of ways on how to lose weight Okay, may mga pa exercise, may mga these fad diets. I think the only diet that I didn't really try is the keto diet. Uh, and I have my reasons for that. Parang hindi ko kasi talaga. But at, but in the past, I have tried South Beach. So as you can see, um, eto makikita niyo mako flash jan. Dahil dito sa diet na to, mabilis ko siyang nawawala, mabilis kong nawawala yung timbang, at the same time, yo-yo diet siya, mabilis ko rin siyang naibabalik. So, I have done a research on what diet or, okay, what ways I can lose weight na I will not be deprived with the food that I like. Why? Because I'm the type of person or I like food. I like to savor all types of food. So, I don't want to be limited with, I can't have rice, I can't have this, because the diet uh, says so. Parang mga ganyan. Ayoko, nung, ayoko na nung ganun. Parang masyado na akong matanda para ma-restrict sa gusto kong kainin. Ayan. So, ano ba to? What I am doing right now, or what I have started since last week, is what you call ADF, or alternate day fasting. So, it's not a diet. It is an eating pattern. It is somewhat almost the same as intermittent fasting. But the reason I chose this is because as I went through or as I did my own research, it has been said that alternate day fasting is more effective or it is effective for women who are uh, 40 above. And uh, especially, alam naman natin, the metabolism alone, di ba? Parang nag-alsabaluta na ang ating metabolism at saka tayo din-niche, di ba? So, ang dami niya daw benefits. Well, through the research that I have done, it has mentioned a lot of benefits. But these are mainly my reasons why I opted to do this comparative to other diets or patterns. Don't get me wrong. I'll show you. Ito, two years ago, ayan yan, that was taken August 31, 2017. Just kuday parang 
I think yun ang pinaka ano, kasi I am a, an emotional eater. Alright, I'm an emotional eater. So, every time I get stressed, especially noon, sa pagkain ko talaga binabawi. So, hindi ko nga na-realize, feel na feel ko pa, hindi ko na-realize na nagkaganyan na ako. Ganun pa man, I isip ko na ayusin ko ng konti or medyo pababain ko lang ng konti yung aking timbang. As, again, there was a realization as you saw. Feel na feel ko pa yan yan ang aking Toastmasters. First stint ko na mag-host ng Toastmasters. Diyos me, yung perdon. Ano, ah, uh, nagpa-picture ako kaya pala hindi agad sinend sa akin kasi naman, ka-posting-posting ba ito. So that was, Mar that was taken March of 2018. From then on, yung initial na ginawa ko was, parang if you would see sa previous vlog ko, was an intermittent fasting. Pero intermittent fasting siya na, hindi siya strict. Kasi diba, there are several intermittent fasting. Merong 6 by 18, merong 4 by 20. Basta iba-ibang fasting or iba-ibang eating pattern yan. And then, um, so, ginawa ko yun somehow from, yes, I am 5 foot 8 inches tall, so I think the biggest that I gained, or yung pinakamalaking weight ko was 200, 205 or 210, grabe ba? <laughs> 200, 200, and my God, pang biggest loser na. So, the biggest uh, I have been, and Parang after that, nung nag, nung nag ano muna ako, intermittent fasting muna ako, parang naging, nag-settle na lang siya to 185 to 190, parang ganyan. And then, after Australia, parang medyo nag-ano na ako sa aking pagkain. Ganun, hindi pa rin ako sobrang strict. I think I'm doing intermittent, unconscious intermittent because I would eat like around 1 p.m., Pero ganun pa rin, may kanin ako ha, meron akong lahat ng gusto kong kainin. Pero siguro dahil sa tumatanda na tayo, hindi na kasing parang grabe na parang wala ng bukas. Pero kumakain ako ng normal. Kailangan na syempre, at the end of the day, diba, tumatanda na tayo and uh, medyo hindi, I'm in sales. So kailangan medyo maganda naman ng ating persona kapag tayo ay nakikipag-deal sa ating mga... Um, clients at the same time I do facilitation so um, to have credibility uh, not being shallow but this is for my personal one I wanna look good okay I wanna look good for myself yan ang unang una sa lahat so I started with a celery juice yung on an empty stomach and I will continue that. I'll start it again by next week. Kasi parang maganda yung effect niya yung sa feeling. Uh, last week, yun na nga, I have started the alternate day fasting. I will tell you kung ano yung mga benefits niya. And siguro, for this week or for this time, I will not tell you yung mga talagang sobrang kung ano yung mga kinain ko. But uh, if you would do a research, what is alternate day fasting? From the word itself is you eat every other day. Or there is a day that you will not eat. You will, meaning you will fast. Fasting mo na yun, I think if I'm not mistaken, you can only take tea or uh, lemon water. Pwede mo lang na consume for 24 hours. So for example, Monday, you have chosen to eat. Walang restrict. Ako kasi nababasa ko, may iba that they still do calorie counting. Kaso ang inisip ko naman, para ka naman, para yung kinakain mo naman na yun, ay good for two days. I did not limit myself. Naging mindful lang ako sa pagkain ko. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kumain ako ng almusal, tanghalian, and dinner. There may rice, nag-dessert din ako. That is for my Monday. I think, ano pa nga eh, nag-mais pa ako, dalawang mais pa nga yun eh. And then, come Tuesday, yun na. Water fast na talaga. And then, I broke the fast nung pag-hit ng 24 hours. Was there a struggle? Since at present, medyo sedentary, nasa opisina lang ako, last week, wala naman ako mga labas-labas. Hindi siya masyadong mahirap. Pero I, dati ako umiinom ng tubig. I have a 2 liter uh, jug or jar in the office. And I think para nakapuno yata ako ng mga dalawa tatlong beses nun. So, ganun karaming tubig. Hindi ako nagutom. Actually, medyo maganda siya sa pakiramdam. Kasi nga, sinigurado ko na busog ako. Busog ako ng lunes. And then when I broke the fast, ano lang muna ako. Medyo chill lang nakain muna. Kasi syempre, di ba, my God, 24 hours ka hindi kumain. Alam nga naman, bigla yung munchan mo. I ate, parang nagtinapay muna ako. And then parang after 2 hours, 
kumain na ako na kung ano yung gusto kong kain. For last week, hindi na ako magiging specific. I was able to really do the fasting. So basically, kuma kumakain ako say feast day, Monday, Tuesday is fasting. Wednesday ko for last week is again feast. Taman tama yun. Ah, meron pala ako. Taman tama yung Wednesday ko. I attended a um uh, an event. So it's okay kasi taman tama kain day and then fasting again on Thursday. Meal again ng Friday and then Saturday was fasting. Although hindi ko na kompleto yung 24 hours. 22 hours lang kasi I should have broken the fast ng 10 PM. But por favor, nasa bahay ako ng mami ko wherein ang aking kapatid likes or enjoys stocking mga, yung mga food na very tempting for me like cheese, nuts, you know, chips and all these. So, yon 8 PM pa lang instead of 10, napakain na tayo ng di oras. And then, syempre, Sunday, that was the birthday of my mom. At in-enjoy ko talaga lahat ng aking may enjoy. At walang restriction ha, nagkakanin ako. Basically, for last week, I was successful. Kasi sabi naman nila for the fasting, for the alternate day fasting, okay lang naman na kumain ka ng, basta kailangan nakapag-fast ka ng 20, ah, minimum of 20, tama ba? Minimum ba yan? A minimum of 20 hours, maximum of 24. So for alternative fasting. You might see that pwedeng kumain ng kahit konti. There is. In the past, I'll show you this pic. Ayan. Ang sexy ko, ba? Sobrang payat pang. Hindi ko alam kung sexy or payat. What I did then was, apart from I was enrolled, so nag-gym ako nyan, but more than anything, what I was doing then was modified alternate day fasting. But it's modified. Ano ibig sabihin ng Kakain ako ng hefty meal na yon, kinabukasan, basta maximum 500 calorie na yung aking kukonsume. So parang ganon. Ganon yung sistema niya. And it worked well. Ako kasi I plan to have this na parang for my entire life. Kasi nga, why did I choose this? So I wrote it down para so that this... I will not miss out. Hindi pa ako sobrang payat. That's why uh, you might be asking, sige, so, ang pinaka naging baseline ko is basta between 185 or 180 to 190. Right now, I'm at, right now, I am at 165 pounds. Ayan ha, big revelation. 165 pounds, but remember, I am 5 foot 8 inches tall. So, sa totoo lang, pag 140 na ako, isa na akong... Sobrang skinny na ako, okay? <laughs> so, so, I'm 165 pounds at present. What is my goal? Dahil ba may plano akong sumali sa beauty contest? <laughs> sa Mrs. Globe Philippines. Joke, joke, joke. But, kung ako yung papala rin or kung makakaya ng powers ko, syempre sasabayan mo na yun ng mga pa-exercise. Right now, kasi ang pinaka-exercise ko ay, ano lang eh, walk. And, hindi sinabi ko naman sa inyo, it takes me 2.4 kilometers back and forth to go to the office. Go and go and at the same time go home. Tama ba yung sinabi ko? Well, yeah. So there. So why did I choose once again the alternate day fasting? Or ang sabi nga sa research why I use it is because more than anything kasi ako ay pre-diabetic. I was diagnosed na pre-diabetic. Ibig sabihin nun nasa borderline na ako. So nasa nag, naglalaro na sa 95-100 ganyan ang aking blood sugar nakakadalawang take na ako. Yung una, medyo mataas. Yung pangalawa, medyo kalma lang. Pero nasa high normal. So, yung sa pang third ko, that will define kung hindi na ba pre o totoo na bang diabetic tayo. So, I'll state the reason. First is because it promotes blood sugar control by reducing insulin resistance. Ano bang ibig sabihin nun? When you decrease insulin resistance, it means it can increase body sensitivity to insulin which allows us to manage our blood sugar. That's number one. Second is, it promotes better health by fighting inflammation. So, importante yan. Ang sabi nga dito is that it helps in improving or it helps fix multiple sclerosis. Ayan, yung mga ganyang sakit. Number three is, it may enhance heart health by improving 
blood pressure, cholesterol level, ayan. Sobrang importante yan, lalo na sa mga aging na kagaya ko. Number four, may boost brain function. Ayan, so hindi mo na kailangan ng pork, ng beef, ng shrimp. You just have to do alternate day fasting. There you go. And so it prevents neurodegenerative disorder. Number five, ang pinakagusto ng madlang people ay weight loss. Ayan na. Number six is it increases the growth hormone secretion, yung HGH. Yung iba nga, binibili pa nila yun eh. Ang ibig sabihin, parang it fastens your, your metabolism. Ayan. So, that's the beauty of it. Kaya nga, itong pinili ko kasi akma daw to sa mga kaedad ko or from sa age ko. And then, it could also delay aging and extend longevity. Ayan. So, ako for me kasi, only God knows. Pero, ganun pa man, siguro health-wise, pwede siguro, possible. We'll see as as we move along, and then lastly, may prevent cancer or increase effectiveness of chemotherapy. Ayan, may prevent cancer cells and may increase effectivity of chemotherapy. So, yun ang mga pa benefits niya. That's why I chose to do ADF. Ah, payat na ba ako? Hindi ko alam. Although in the office, medyo may mga nakapansin. Apart from my sister, napansin din niya. Pero may mga nakap nakapansin na. So, so far, hindi ko alam kung isang linggo lang yun. Malalaman natin. I'll do another way in bago mag-September at tingnan natin. Pero I can feel, I can feel that I have lost weight. Parang medyo kahit na may, parang ano ba? Lunalabas na na ba ako collarbone? <laughs> So, ayun. So, that's my first week alternate day fasting. Join me with my journey. My plan is for next week, ibibigay ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga meals. So, ililista ko yan para at least uh, ano nyo if it works for you. Ayan. Kung mahirap siya, yes, mahirap siya. Pero, I think if you really want to lose weight, you're really up for it. Wala namang mahirap sa mga bagay na gusto natin mangyari. Ayan, so that's my vlog. Until next time.